Hello, hello, everybody. This is your boy Blue Lotus Coding um, with another video. Uh, this video is going to be about um, how to get the data pack that I just released working with Tensura and the L2 mod. So you don't really need much else. Um, I am going to also add in a couple of recommended mods to complement this. Um, I just slapped everything in to my mod pack. I got like a hundred and something mods. Uh, what? 132 mods. I added these. So... see I'll do a anywho so let's get started so you need at least these three mods l2 hostility complements is automatically going to be added so keep that as well you need CubeJS, CubeJS, and that's pretty much it. Oh, and you need the Tensure mod, obviously. Uh, get the latest Tensure. Uh, get the latest Tensure mod, all right? So once you get this, You want to go to your instances. Uh, excuse me. You want to load your game first to generate the folder. So once you do that, you should see a CubeJS folder here. All right. You open this folder. Um, these are all the folders that will generate by default. You want to go to your data folder. And you want to take the uh, data pack that I gave you and unpack it. For some reason, L2's mod does not recognize the data pack when you throw it into CubeJS. I'm assuming this Cube, CubeJS just doesn't work very well in terms of understanding that this is a data pack. Um, now, I know like I sent it like... Well, I sent it like this, but this is is correct. You just literally take this, drag, drop it. That's it. Once you do that, start your game. Um, how you know that it's working? All right, let's see. Uh, let's see. Who do I have? This orc disaster. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. It's gonna lag like crazy once I do this, but um... all right. See that? He summoned all his minions, and his minions has uh, they have a fix uh traits attached to them already so org disaster is gonna literally cause a disaster here uh but yeah i mean that's pretty much how you know it's working uh you can easily just refresh your world uh that's why i already have the game open uh because you can literally just refresh I do recommend, however, um, probably nerfing Orc Disaster a little bit. Because he is busted. Uh, a lot of these mobs are busted. So far, we got the heroes covered. And the clones for Fogan covered as well. And you will see that. Um, I could have spent more time working on these. But I did add them all to the... Uh, to the whitelist because Tensura does not have mobs that's considered they're not considered 
a um a enemy in Minecraft that they're not considered an enemy so they're they're not treated as such uh by default. So because of that uh you're going to have some compatibility problems and they won't scale. Now only use this mod if you just want to just have stuff just go crazy. You just want true challenge. I recommend you can just easily do this, right? Just delete this folder. That's it. And what's going to happen is all these entity configs will be gone. But the game would be a lot more fair to you, okay? But it, it's going to scale accordingly. Because if you start with what I got so far, I'm telling you, you need to make sure to kill the Orc Lord. You will be able to kill him. But if you do not kill him, it's going to take the whole server to kill Orc Disaster. So you need to be prepared. Okay? All right. And with that being said, that is all that I have for today. Uh, thank you, guys.